Welcome back. In our first session, we're going to start our exercise. And uh, to do this, we're going to learn four features to begin with. The line feature, the circle feature, uh, the mirror about feature, as well as the parallel feature. So we'll get started. Let's get started by removing the operations manager right here. To do this, of course, you can click on the X or you can cl uh, click on Alt and press the O button and it will disappear. This will give you more room in your graphical area. Now, for some of you, if you don't see this origin or the grid line in the middle, all you have to do is go to screen, left click on screen, go down to grid settings, left click on it, and then you'll see the settings right here. Now, if, you, if I uncheck the visible grid and click on the check mark, you'll see it disappear. Now, we want it to appear again. Go to screen, grid settings, click on visible grid, and make sure the size is 1.0. That's in inches. Click OK. Now we see our little uh, grid lines and the origin in the middle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get started by making this example right here. What we're going to get started in this session is by making the top. So we're going to draw the top, sketch the top out. So just as you see it in this section right here, what we're going to be doing is with the origin point in the middle, drawing this right side, this right half, and then mirroring mirror that second half to the left side about the y-axis basically. So I'll, I'll go ahead and get started so I can show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go over here to the left and click on line to begin with and start drawing my line. So I'm going to begin at the origin. You can see a little square appears. Left click on it and drag it up top. Now as you can see I can move that line anywhere I want but I want them to make sure that I keep them straight. To do this go to vertical and click on vertical and this way even if you move your mouse around you see it stays vertical. Now come over here to distance or length and change that to 2.0, so 2.0, and then just make as long as you're pointing towards the you know up position, just click anywhere and it will automatically place it as 2.0 inches from the origin point, and then make sure to click the apply button. So now you can sketch another point. So go up here to the top of the line, click on it. Now I want to make it uh, horizontal. To do this, you want to make sure to come over here and click on horizontal. So now even if you move your mouse anywhere you want, you can only go left or right. And that's, you know, in vertical. So I'm going to come over here again, and I'm going to change it to 2.0. And make sure I'm clicking on the right side of this line right here, anywhere. And it automatically places a 2-inch long line to the right. Again, I'm going to repeat this until I have my full half. Remember, now, if you notice what I just did is I went and clicked on the line, and you, you hear the sound that you just heard. That means I'm still in the options, I'm still in this prompt right here, which is asking me to make sure I press apply. That's the only way I can draw another line. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the end of this point, click it, and I'm going to go vertical again. So I click on vertical, and this time I'm going to go 4 inches to the bottom, so 4.0. And just make sure I click on the bottom somewhere, and then click apply. Again, repeat this until you have your full square, left click horizontal and then change this to 2.0 the length and then left click on the left side of the line and then finally you don't really have to uh, place a length for this but make sure you have vertical and then go to the end of this line and just make sure you attach them together so there we go we just drew the first half of our part now not fully of course we still have to draw our circles so what I want you to do, now we're going to learn the parallel feature. So go up here to line. Now before you do this, of course, come over here and click on the check mark. This way you're done with the line. So click on the check mark. Come over here to where it says line and see that little arrow right next to the line? Left click on it and then go down and click on parallel. So what this does is if you click on a line and choose the distance you want to uh, basically offset the line that you're pasting. You're, you're basically making a line parallel to the line that you just selected somewhere. So the what I have selected right now is the offset. How much are you offsetting that line by? So I'm going to choose 0 0.75. I'm going to go enter. Now it's not going to show up until I anywhere in the bottom here I'm going to left click and you'll see the line appear. So that means this line and this line are 0 0.75 inches apart. I'm going to repeat this in the bottom, so I'm going to left click over here, and I'm going to choose 
0.75 and I'm gonna left click anywhere on top and there you go it appears again remember to always click apply if you don't click apply sometimes you'll be able to do some things depending on what you have selected or not but a lot of times when you try to go and click on any feature you're gonna hear that little beep button that you heard earlier that you need to exit out of this before you do anything else so last but not least we're gonna make a line parallel to this line to the left and we're gonna make that one inch so let's make this one inch and then left click anywhere inside here and there you go you see it right in the right in the middle now lastly actually that wasn't the last line we want to do one more line so click apply and then last we want to mirror one more line from here two inches to the bottom so again click on this line for length type in 2.0 and then click anywhere in the middle and you'll see your last line so now what I just did is I marked two lines so I can put the center so I can place my circle right in the center here exactly where I need it to be so I'm gonna click apply and click on the check mark so there you go now I'm done with my sketch with my lines now I want to draw my circle I go up here to circle left click on circle and then come over here to the middle left click in the middle when you see that little square up here and just drag it out now all you have to do is come over here to diameter and select 0.5 enter and then you'll see your circle appear you just click apply and then click on the check mark now what we want to do is we want to get rid of some of the lines that we placed there just for our own references so we can place the circle where we want it to be and those lines are actually this line right here this line the centering line both centering lines that center the circle and then we're gonna click the delete button now what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to mirror this one half to the other half so what we're gonna do is go to this option right here mirror and then click on it as soon as you click on it you want to have all the those sides selected and then mirror about the y-axis so to do this click on all and then click on all entities so now you see them all highlighted in white to do this we're gonna click on the green uh, arrow the green uh, thing right here it says end selection it's a green little button and a little window is gonna pop up this is the mirror uh, options and you're gonna click on this mirror about the y-axis now when you click on it you're gonna see in red the mirror of the right side appear on the left side you click on the green check mark and you are done with your mirror feature you just learned how to mirror now of course if you want to mirror that about your x-axis there's other options in that menu to do so now we're gonna come over here on top and click on clear colors and this will clear any selections or any colors that we have uh, uh, placed on that drawing and those colors appear only if you have something selected or you just got done with a certain feature that places your part with certain colors or places certain colors uh, on your part so now what we want to do is we want to take this part and we want to mirror we want to place it back in the origin now remember our origin is right here in the middle but our part is basically floating with our origin in the middle of it but we want to keep our origin this is a good practice to keep your bottom left or wh whatever corner you want but usually it's used the bottom left part in right in the center of the origin so to do this we're gonna come over here to this option move to origin it's right here actually click on it and all you have to do is come over here to the bottom left corner and click on that and all of a sudden you see your part moved to that origin now to view this a little bit better come over here to fit this is the view toolbar and there you go now to zoom in and out you can also use your mouse so you can use your scroll button to move in or out to see it a little bit better if you like and as you can see it's pink again so to get rid of that clear colors there you go you just got finished uh, setting up and sketching the top of your part